Join me on an exhilarating journey as I dive into the dark and thrilling world of Deathbound in my full walkthrough video series. Dive deep into this immersive world filled with intense combat, intriguing storylines, and challenging enemies as we explore the game mechanics, uncover hidden secrets, and unravel the mysterious backstory of our warrior protagonist. Whether you're a seasoned warrior or a newcomer in the grim fantasy world of Deathbound, this walkthrough will provide valuable insights and entertainment. Hit subscribe or click the link below and ring that bell for daily action-packed uploads. An instrument of death. By the breath, by the war, by the peace. Yours to command, Sir Kyoman. For Goddess Death! Stay fools! The day is ours, my Lord Purple. The cultists are in full retreat, further into the Forbidden City. Shall I pursue? No, Sir Theron. You have another duty of paramount importance. Bring me Solon Legionis. You and Aetolos must move through the underground. Release the old subjects as you do so. Which ones? As many as you can. All of them. But the people on the streets? Alerna, the Church of Death is inside Akratia. It is too late. What matters is that you live, and with you our knowledge. What about you? Since death's hallowed banner was first raised, I've abandoned king and, and home for the only church's cause. Please, sire, I beg of you, allow me the grace of rejoining Our Lady by the blade. It will be my honor, good woman, and take heart. The service of the devoted never goes unnoticed. <laughs> Thank you. Any last words, soldier? Find those 
Ethan bastards. Give them a kiss of steel in Lady Death's honor. Do you accept death? With all my essence. where the explosion originated. Goddess.
spreading. was right. The Essence Mancers are indeed breeding abominations.
I am Theron of House Giomen, and I shall be known as Crusader of Death. My apologies, young lord, but your father made it very clear. You are to finish your lesson. Now, continue. The, the four first deathly high priests, may our lady have them in her honor, were Saint Samantha Hippocrate, Saint Manmin Ome, Saint... Go on. Saint Louisa. My apologies, young lord, but your father made it very clear. You are to finish your lesson. Now, continue. The, the four first deathly high priests, may our lady have them in her honor, were Saint Samantha Hippocrate, Saint Manmin Ome, Saint... Go on. Saint Louis... I was to be a lord, with a title and a fief, with vassals beneath me and a liege above. There is nothing to fear, my lord. It is not the first time that I caught young Theron here in the chapel at this hour. You have a very pious son. Theron, come. Come, I command. Only our lady commands. But Goddess Death had other plans for me. Begin! Imagine I would allow it. Our Holiness, the Deathly High Priestess, has summoned all the faithful. Stand aside, Father. These are my men, Theron. I am the Lord. Our Goddess Death is the true lady above all lords, sire. It is the duty of all believers I gave to... you no need to speak. You are my father and my liege. But to threaten a holy servant of the Church is heresy and treason. do not belong to us, nor to any worldly power. I made mine an instrument of death. And in the end, Goddess Death will call my essence back to her. Do you accept death? With all my essence. Do you accept death? Son! <laughs> My son, please! Please! <laughs> Do you accept death? You insolent brat! You bastard son of a whore! Traitor! 
I'm an Aleppus of the Agisi Romi people, worshipper of our mother, goddess life. A toast to our leader, Anna Lepus. May she receive our mother's blessing and endure until the coming of next summer. Thank you, my friends. Today, as the summer begins, Goddess Life grants us once again with love and fertility. Let us honor her gifts by rejoicing in the glory of being here. Now, together, blessed be our days. Don't you ever worry, Chief? For us, Igis Romy, life is not a quest for meaning, a burden to bear, or a debt that must be paid. It's a celebration. Or at least it should be. I saw it. Just from their looks, you can tell they're non-believers. Goddess, say. Bryce just went up. 100 crowns. 100? For passing through? That's preposterous. Safeguarding the roads against scum like you doesn't come cheap for the church. If you don't have the coin, however, no bother. We could always arrest you for... Here you go, Sarge. 100 crowns. Plus a little something for you fellas. Move along. That was too great a bribe, Chief. We'll make ten times that much with our contraband. Let's not get greedy. It is not greed that concerns me. It's drawing attention. To the Church of Death, anyone not following their bleak and sad creed is the same sack of shit. They call us cultists. Like it's a bloody insult. It's a... And it doesn't matter if you're actually in the cult of life or not. Anna Lepus, you're under arrest for leading a criminal organization. They made us do it, Anna. They killed Merrick. They would kill your children. Forgive us. Take her. The bloody church hounds us at every turn. Anything serves as an excuse to oppress us. No. It's a lost cause to defy him. Ready yourself. I'm ready. Let's get out of this shit. I've got the one you right. your people? I have no people. I'll go where there's coin to be made. It's so sure happened, don't want to come to I was country. pretty cut out for the assassin's way of life. I that always had my fortune business. And getting by becomes much to easier bad when the only person to care about is yourself. Maybe so, but strength comes in numbers, Anna. I'm better off on my own. So yourself.
I'll double it. I don't know whether finding that kid was a blessing or a curse. But it's what got me to Akratia, the Forbidden City. Whose baby is this? Let's just say there is no one left to care for him. And Akratia will be his home from now on. We'll find him a family. You're an Olympus, right? Helena told me of this Akisa Romi turned assassin. You must be one of a kind. I am very grateful to you. You aided my friend's escape from the Grim Fade. I merely delayed it, sister. Why not stay? Akratia always welcomes those in need of a home. Appreciate it, but it's easier not to have one. If you find solace in your chosen path, I wish you well. May the All Mother protect you and your folk. You'll need it. And may she guide you in tranquility until the coming of the next summer. And the next. And the next. Oh, bloody hell. You wouldn't happen to have some work available, would ya? Mind you, I take point, not favours. And I ain't no assassin. Akratia was a sight beyond the wildest dreams. Roads stretching on forever, buildings so tall they brushed against the bloody clouds. It was a haven for folks like us. Enemies of the Church of Death. At least, for a while. Just how much did I drink? What have you done, vile woman? Get out of my mind! You will undo this sorcery, or else... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? You and the mother said to you! Cease your jesting. Your corpse, witch. Was it a ruse? Whatever heresy you've inflicted upon me, I want it gone. Now! Sod off! You're bloody real? Wait, my corpse? N no <laughs> No. No, this is rubbish. <laughs> oh, it must have been more than just a drink. I demand that you... Oh, for fuck's sake, I ain't no bloody witch, you don't break. I am just as baffled as you are. This is madness.
creepy little bugger. What the fuck is going on?
Look below you. The contraptions that cleanse the polluted water, making it once again fresh and drinkable. The immortal city, indeed. Blasphemy! You fancy another floggy, Lukoch? <laughs> Merely contemplating is all. Something to tell the ladies back at home. Immortal City's excrement. How romantic. More appeal in the tales of decapitation. Pray, what holds such appeal? Forgive us, sire. Idle chatter. No harm intended. Do you know why, following our lady's teaching, our founders forbade the kind of profane knowledge the vermin here covet? It was because it can so easily infect the essences and minds of the weak-willed. So leave it be. Indeed, sir. Our apologies, sir. Keep a watchful eye on the Essence Mancer's hideout. Our scouts! With me! This all reeks of the Essence Mancer's handiwork. Those green bastards are the ones who meddle with ancient relics. Some fancy spell or ritual or whatever. Hmm. Let's find us an Essence Mancer then, heathen. If we hurt him enough, he'll dispel our malediction. That's all you bastards know, isn't it? Violence and suffering. Give me strength. I've seen that creature before. It was cold and without breath. The empty shell of a man. Its very existence a mockery to my goddess. 
<laughs> Don't we mock your old missus as well, Crusader? You understand nothing, foolish woman. This is but a test of faith. Well, well, well. Look over there. An essence lancer. Goddess. It was just a bloody kid. Wait. What's what's this? Oh, oh, it's 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 like something's drawing me and won't bloody relent. Hmm. So you feel it as well? to your papa. Get away from me, please. No, papa, I cured him. I can play with him again, see? I missed him so much. one's Moses Sexualist history. It relates to the last days of the first civilization and the decline of the great cities. He contradicts Friar Sanchez's body of work. Can you believe it? He theorized that humankind must have lost their immortality overnight. Can you even imagine, sister? One minute, you're eternal. There are people in the world who have seen the dawn of time. Think of all the knowledge they must have gathered. And then it was all taken from them in the blink of an eye. Imagine the chaos. You little bookworm. You know, Father's really worried. The healer thinks this disease is connected to your abilities. I am so sorry, little brother, but it may not have a cure. If it were, Raise you the church. Then you're going to protect me, right, sis? I take care of you, and you keep teaching me that interesting stuff. Do you?
My condition left me deformed and with blisters spreading over my skin, so father didn't want the other villagers to see me. I had only my books and my sister Kian Luna's company. What is this, father? You're sending me away? These men are here to take you to the Reparation Monastery. They're willing to do whatever is in their power to rid you of your condition. And what if they cannot, Father? What do you think they'll do? It is for your own good, son. You are not taking her die! Kian Lun was badly hurt, but we managed to escape Klingazar. We traveled until we reached the kingdom of Krulisgon. is going to be fine. She has a remarkable will to live. Thank you. That's all right, boy. You're allowed to feel. What you did was very courageous, and nothing short of a miracle. That you managed to keep her alive all the way from Klingazar. Life herself must be working through you. It is Haudai, correct? Yes. Pleased to meet you, Haudai. I'm stolen. They were called the Essence Mancers as an affront by some who didn't approve the use of their powers, of our powers. We liked the name. We embraced it. Solon says we must be heading out soon. He says we have a very important purpose and must not waste our time. Is that so? And what purpose is that? Forgive me, sister, but I promise not to say anything about it. I'll send instructions on how to find us as soon as I can. Good, because you better believe I'll find you, little brother. Remember our promise to each other? I still have much to learn, and apparently you soon will have much to teach. Oh, Kian, I'll miss you so much. Hush now. This is no goodbye. I'll see you again soon. I hope you can forgive Father one day. Kian Lun went back to Klingazar. As for me, my home was no longer there. Mine became the free city of Akratia, where the glorious first civilization once rose and where it fell. When you were... If you keep on training with Aetalos, perhaps you'll become an even better reanimator. And you must keep seeking the knowledge of the first civilization. For that, you can count on a learner, the expert on all things regarding the first ones. The essence on this one remains corrupted. Indeed. I believe it's the recipient that's the problem. We got the best we could out of our flesh dolls. Time to step up. I'm proud of you, son. Together, we'll accomplish the unthinkable. Together, we'll bring back the gift of immortality.
the Essence Mancers became my family, and Solon like the father I never had, one who accepted me for who I was. My head... Hear me now, splitting. Essence Mancer. You will tell me how to break this curse. What? Who are you? How are you doing this? Brilliant. Of all the bloody mangers around here, it seems we stumbled upon a clueless pop. Wait! Who? Welcome to the party, kid. appreciate you coming, Haldai. Oh, spare me. I'm only here out of respect for all that you've taught me. There's only one thing I wish to hear. Have you changed your mind? Haldai, I, I... Then there's nothing more for us to say. I'm afraid so. I'm so sorry. What are you... Ah! She tried to kill me. Halurna? No, that can't be right. It makes absolutely no sense. Kid, <laughs> she didn't try. She bloody well succeeded. Why would she do this to me? Why? You know nothing, do you, boy? You're just a foolish child messing with forces way beyond your ken. You're dead. You just haven't accepted her gift yet. And I've been cursed to bear your essence. The two of you. Parasitic scum, tarnishing my being like disease-ridden ticks. Alurna knew I would always side with Solon. She must be planning to take over. Damn it! I must warn my master before it is too late!
As you said, woman, it's clear that the essence mancers are behind this. I'll find one who can end my torment. Even if I have to slaughter every last cultist in this accursed city. What? No! Are you insane? What you're saying is monstrous. If we want some bloody answers, I reckon we should go straight after the head of the snake. Their leader, Solon. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. He's the cleverest and wisest man I've ever known. He'll certainly be able to aid us. Your views are skewed, child. But I, Solon, that name haunts me still. Mates aren't him as well. I say we follow the corpse trail. I understand you have not found the Essence Monsters yet. No, my lord. They are a scheming, cowardly lot, but they shall not hide for long. Do I have to remind you what's at stake here, Sir Gilliam? 
what the essence monsters are hoping to achieve? No, my lord. I too have been sickened by the accounts of their villainy. Did I err by trusting you with this task, Sir Gilloman? Not at all, sire. Even now my men are searching house to house for these sinners. We will know of their whereabouts within the hour. See to it that you do, and Thoreau, bring every item you find with them directly to me. It is our sacred duty to bring her justice upon the infidels. Monstrous. I'll tell you, John, something's off about this whole campaign. Goddess, Lucius. Don't talk like you're no shite about warfare. I recognize these men. Let me approach them. S sir Therone, praise be. We've heard reports that you were missing in action, sir. I gather the Lord Commander is still searching for the Mage's leadership, is he not? Indeed he is, sir. It had seemed the heretics have been spotted retreating to that hulking ram fortress of the first men, sir, east of our position. But those bastards are crafty, sir, and have blocked most paths leading to it. Our scouts are even now searching for alternative routes, sir. They have the work cut out for them. They still seek the Essence Monster's whereabouts. This is fortunate for us. Blimey! You don't even flinch at the sight of it, do you, Crusader? A rabid dog is better served cleansed by fire than left to infect innocent, pious folk. The only rabid dogs are you and your Deathian friends. How blind can you be? Oh, spare me, Essence Boy. Your lot ain't no bloody Saint Louisa either. All those freaks we had to put down because of your special mission. We cleanse the impurity with the holy fire, while you create mindless beasts and... Oh, just fucking... Let's keep moving. God has helped me. I can only take so much bullshit for a day.
holy shite. Now, that's something you don't see every day. Goddess. Gosh, I wonder who were the warriors that killed so many of them. Just one warrior, kid. And that's our artist over there. I'm Comrade Yulia Chevlaskia, faithful of Our Lady Death, member of the Cult of Life, militant of the Eighth of Zorim movement for the liberation of all the Emenau. Death, Lady of Men, Lady of the True Faith and of the True Path of those who breathe. Dear is my prayer. strength to continue on thy path and forgive us those who stray. Not all who wish to live are thine enemies, and not all who bring death in thy name are thy true servants. And if thou wilt, protect it, my comrades, though they do not follow thy path, for they are true at heart. By the breath, by the floor, by the bees. The essence monsters are wrapping up. They feel the last of the wounded. Ha, I genuinely thought they wouldn't fulfill their end of the bargain. <laughs> Come on, you think she doesn't mind you ended up fighting against their own soldiers? <laughs> Lady Death sees our hearts, not these symbols on our banners, my friend. There's more. They found him. The essence monsters say they lured them here to Akratia. We are setting up a trap. I need to be there. Comrade. I don't think you should go. <laughs> but you're my family. Your place is in the field. People will die if you don't come. 
Your comrades, the captains are trying to rescue you. It was you who argued for this raid in the first place. Please, Yulia, the movement needs you. I don't remember the faces, Ahadib. My mother, my nephew, <laughs> but I can still smell their burning flesh. I've never backed down from a fight. A lifetime ago, before joining the 8th of Zarim, I hunted, then my village grew hungry, and... But, my lord, the people are starving! That is no excuse, and you know that, Huntress. We all have our doors and obligations! How can the people fulfill their obligations and need to pay? How will raising taxes help when people are too weak to even hold them? Raising their arms against the elite is treason and should be punished accordingly. I order you, as your Lord Commander, to bring me their hands. I move on with them. I'll get the traitor's head. But the price of some battles is Please. too steep. Please, they, they had nothing to do with it. Do you pieces of rebellion get and accept death? Please, part of my son. Yes, yes, we accept. Please, have Please. mercy. Please, we are faithful. We accept death. when you challenge the might of Krulas God! Please! Please! They, they had nothing to do with it! Do you pieces of rebellion get That one step slaughtered my entire world and was cruel enough to deny me my lady's final relief. I vowed that if the day would come that I escaped my torment, one way or another, Did they you give would that hear my water yesterday. Nah, we think it was on the day before that. Fine, let's not let Agaros's new pet die. Oh. Save your strength, Yulia. I am Brunner of the Eighth of Zarim Movement, and I've come for you. You mistake me for one of you, heathens. Brunner, this one prefers to wait for a Dothian savior. We've heard of what you did for the people, Yulia. The binds that tie those like us are stronger than faith. On that day, I was not only given my life back, but found new meaning and purpose. Soon after, I fully pledged myself to the Eighth of Zarim movement. But the truth was, my family deserved deliverance. I would not, I could not, forsake my revenge. Do you accept death? Yeah, mock my faith. Rest your essence in the embrace of our <laughs> fellow Deathian, eh? Say that. Did you know you're fighting on the wrong side? You don't remember me. 
Do you, Agaros of Miriva? Sorry, don't keep track of all the cunts I hunt. All of this because you missed my cock, then? You murdered my family! And now you're going to pay for it. <laughs> Sucking combatant. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, but we haven't even started. My lady, protect my comrades. Anger has taken me down a different path, and I don't know if I can come back. You count yourself as a true devout of death, yet collude with her enemies. You are worse than an infidel. Who? Take it easy, sister. It takes a bit to sort out our little condition. You'll be fine in a jiffy. Our condition? Please, miss, just calm your thoughts. It will all become much clearer. I promise. Is, is this a punishment for my sins? Yes! No! Don't listen to him. We don't know exactly why this is happening to us. That's why we must find Solon. He's our only hope. That two-faced hypocrite? If he is involved in why I got cheated out of my ordained death, I'll pierce his green heart. Good to hear! But you'll have to get in line, sister.
Shush, my son. It will all be well soon. That voice.
street is you're the essence master's last volunteer. How's that been treated yet? You're damn right I gave them some of my essence. I volunteer every now and then, and would do so even if they hadn't cured me daughter. Not just any essence monster, mind you. Solon himself saved her. Gave away some of his own essence to cure me little girl. Asked for nothing in return. Day now. <laughs> People in Akratia, they've forgotten what it's like out there. I give the essence monsters years of my own life. In exchange, they give us all hope. A reason to live. I don't know, old man. Eternity in this damn world feels to me like eternal torment. Yeah, then ye missed the point. To bring back the age of eternity is to end the reign of the Church of Death. I'd drink to that. My son, it will all be well soon. That voice... Raffaele? Ugh! 
That is the Rim Ball. We believe the first man built it as a fighting arena. But now the Eighth of the Rim has claimed it as its headquarters. So the Essence Monsters plan to barricade themselves. Cowards. No.
Comrade Yulia, this plan is simply not feasible. We've already drawn too much attention from Krula's Goni soldiers. I agree with Comrade Camilla. Besides, another raid might stir things up a bit with the rest of the cult. Comrades, uh, have we really come to this? Sentries who refuse to help those in need for... Uh, for what? Hmm? Political bickering? I stand with Comrade Yulia. We know better than the children of life if we just sit back and pray for the goddesses. The fact is, comrades, that 15 people stand to be executed by the church only a day's march from here. One is a woman who fled all the way from Klingazar because of her magic. That could have been your fate too. Could it not, Comrade Bruma? Hm? If the Ace of Zari movement hadn't rescued you. And the same goes to you, Comrade Renatos. And me. Very well. All in favor of Comrade Julia's plan, raise your hands. This room... I never knew it was here.
brothers and sisters, the cult to life can no longer stay quiet about Mr. Solon's followers and their experiments. Tales of their work have already reached the church, and it is only a question of time before all of us pay the price. Solon Legiones, you have the floor. Brothers, sisters, members of the cult of life, I know you are scared, but no change is without risk and sacrifice. My comrades at the Children of Life tendency would tell you to do nothing, to have faith in the goddess, sit back and pray. Aren't you tired of only praying? But, but, we do have to pray. We are nothing without our mother. It is she who protects us, and she has a plan for us all. Do you really believe it's just a coincidence? We found the tools and the means to search for immortality right here in Akratia. It is clearly a blessing from the goddess. Is it not true that many of you were saved by our research already? Turning your back on us is not just ingratitude. It's turning your backs on the goddess herself. But the last thing I want is to be the cause of so much strife between our sisters and brothers. Which is why, effective immediately, me and my comrades, who some of you mockingly call essence monsters, are breaking away from the children of life tendency. It says here, Nito, the Thunder Hidetaka. The prophet? The first to die. The motherfucker who started it all. This room must be some kind of place of worship. A temple. The 
very heart of the prophet here. But where is it? Maybe the church already has it. It does not. This... this must be the most sacred relic in the entire world. I wonder who has it now. Maybe it found its way into a butcher shop. Praise be the prophet of death. To him all glory and all honor. Blessed be the first among the mortals. The first of the first prophets of our land. Agoras of Mariva, Sergeant at Archduke Pobo's militia, servant of Lady Death. And you better watch your fucking steps round me. That ought to teach you a lesson, you piece of shit. 
Stealing from the boss is not smart. Think it through next time. Hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> let me kill him. <laughs> you what now? I, I wonder what it feels like. You know what? Knock yourself out, you little maniac. No. No. Please. I have no sad story to tell. Wasn't beaten by my papa. Mama wasn't a whore. I just enjoy a good old-fashioned black shirt. Gets Is this the one? Hard. Yes, my lord. The young fuck who gutted that man. This little vermin here. Fought and won against two of my men, twice his size. Oi! Let me go so I can bugger your nylons ass too, if you fancy. I'll give you a silver coin for it. Oh, fuck off, you pervert! I was just kidding! You fucking touch me and I'll bite your wanker off! A silver coin it is, my lord. Say what you will about the Archduke. The man's got an eye for a long-term investment. You won't grow up to be his own personal host. I saw everything, my lord. He... he killed the kids first, and made them adults to watch. Oh, come on! I overheard you talking, my lord. These were the fuckers who were blackmailing your mistress. Why did you assert Has anyone else seen what happened here, Sergeant? No, my lord. Just got here and caught this bastard in the act. Very well. Finish him off. Agoros. What? I think I'm in need of a new sergeant. Let us feast in honor of Sergeant Agaros of Mariva, most loyal lieutenant to our Archduke Ascaron of House Corbel. I, uh, I needed to speak with you. I am quite, uh, um, disappointed with your latest uh, service. Oh, yeah. And why is that, Your Eminence? The, uh, the, the last one you sent me was, uh, well, he's too old. <laughs> I beg your pardon for the appalling oversight, Your Eminence. I'll be sure to acquit to your refined taste next time. I'll even throw in a little extra something for the inconvenience. As long as I kept bashing skulls for the Archduke, he'd give me a wide berth to deal with my little side businesses. No questions asked. As if he gave a fuck. That fine nobleman. Lady Hines, that pompous bitch, once told me something about it being better to be feared than loved. What? What? They, they had nothing to do with it! Do you think you're tough rebellion? Get it! Accept death! Ernestine, please spare my son! Yes, please. yes, we accept. Please, have please. Mercy, please, we are faithful, we accept it!
to be absolutely fucking terrified of me. Oh, bugger. Sergeant Agarus reporting for duty. We are in need of your mighty hammer, Sergeant. And that you shall have, Sir Kinslayer. Please, Goddess, please. Not him. Oh, didn't you miss me, love? After all we've been through. This is purgatory. I'm in it for my sins. Seems we have an undeniable connection, eh? Aye, a bond forged by fire! <laughs> this is damnation! And you better get used to it, cause I'm gonna be your fucking nightmare! Quiet! For God's sake, all of you, shut the fuck up! Have you come to apologize? What for? Never pictured you as one to play games? I'm talking about my comrades you and your lot turned into abominations. I don't understand why you're so upset. If you're going to be deliberately obtuse, perhaps we should do the whole cult a favor and end you now. Your soldiers volunteered to us, not the other way around? And your so-called abominations are simply the most formidable warriors you've ever seen, are they not? But if you feel inclined, mayhaps we'll take them back, yes? Even that very large fellow. We know you've been training it. That gong trick. Quite insightful, I must say. Let us speak plainly, shall we? Your movement is stagnant, isolated within the cult, and has not enjoyed any militaristic success in years. You need us, if you're to have a fighting chance. But I've a new proposition. Next time you combatants set off for a raid, deliver to us any prisoners you take. We'll use them as our test subjects. And in exchange, we'll keep supplying you with near unstoppable soldiers for your army. What do you say? No member of the cult is to become a toy in your hands ever again. We have an agreement.
ended just as I was taking a liking to the big bugger. You cannot be serious, Sergeant. Come on, sir. At least you gotta respect the bloke's commitment to violence. <sighs> Neither of us can die. So what's the point? For the fun of it, church boy, that's why. Something tells me you'll have more of what you seek, Agaros. Indeed. It has got quite a thing for us. Nice fella. Cease your hiding, coward! Don't you taint our leader's name, Deathian scum! Then let him appear and end this curse of mine! Do so, and maybe I'll grant you heathens a swift demise. I don't know how a single man has made it through all our subjects, but good luck with what's coming next. I'm not here to listen to little dogs barking. Where is the big dog? Where is Solon Legionis? He's dead. You dare call him a coward? You know nothing. Fuck! Fuck the shit! Nay, his legacy will not be destroyed by the likes of you. This I vow. There was no greater champion for humankind. He was life's truest servant. But he wasn't prepared for the ritual. And now he's gone. Because of you. Death take me, what a boring old woman. So I'll grant you the blessing of the best death you could ever pray for. Well, now she's got my attention. I'm Yulia Chevlaskia, of the Ace of the Rim. What in Mother's name? Please, in honor of our past alliance, you must end this curse. What are you? Aethalos. It. It seems Solon was not entirely wrong. There may be hope yet. We should we go... We should go back for the heart. It shall increase our chances should we be so stupid as to give it another go. Now we're talking!
And of course, the essence monsters have scrambled elsewhere. Uh, bloody magic users. Nothing but a bunch of soft belly wankers. Uh, no offense. Man. What do you mean, no offense? How else would I take it? Uh, Solon is dead. We must devise a new plan. When did that stop us, mate? Wait, no, you're not suggesting. We find his body, absorb his essence, and there you have it. What if there's nothing left of him? One problem at a time, kid. Right now, it's our best shot. I'm uncertain of this course of action, but I know where the madman's corpse might be. I've been there before, the ancient healing grounds, where that unholy blast of light originated. Yes, the essence labs, our home. This place must be crawling with monsters. Oh, you got me on your side, love. Nothing to worry about. Sinjuari monk. Even where I come from, we hear stories of the Sinjuari's legendary fighting skills. Looks like this sucker couldn't fend for himself. Ogeti of the Sayabaka Nation, champion of the Sinjuari Order of Our Lady Death. Have your parents sent you, young one? Uh, yes, sir. You may call me Batufa Jatu. And what do I call you, child? Um, Momdile. And your last name? Uh, I... I was not given one, Batufa Jato. Mm. That will change. Come, get inside. youth, I earned the name Ugati, as in the palm tree that lent its shade to Our Lady when she first set foot on Ziemenau. Perhaps I should 
just hop on one leg, yes? The new champion of the Shinjuari Order of Our Lady Death, Mamdile Ogaze! Mamdile! Mamdile! I was honored to be anointed as Our Lady willed it, Batufa of the Sinjuari, the youngest. Help, Batufa, Ogaze, please help. Ogoya is still inside. No, Batufa, it is too dangerous to go in. I am not afraid. was not supposed to have happened. I was the chosen of death, a champion, the greatest warrior the Order had ever seen. Slow now, Bartuva. Pace yourself. You must allow your body some time to heal. Penance in the name of Our Lady, who cleanse your sins and return strength to your legs. Suffering is the path towards mending our bodies and essences. My son, drink it and it will help. You must drink it all, boy. It'll infuse life back to your legs. This is foolish, Mamdi. You have not recovered yet. Just so. This is why I must leave, yes? There is a cure out there. I know it in my essence. Please, Batuva, do not act harshly. Just listen to us. I am not a Batuva anymore. But one day, it will be so again. May you always find sheep, my friends. not shame my honor by losing heart. If only I redeemed myself before death, did the right ritual, trained the proper moves, bathed with the correct herbs, I would be the champion again. Oh! You better pay up, old man. Your dues are almost a week late. I've lost my patience. Please, sir, towards the harvest, the, the winter... An armed warrior threatening a defenseless old man. <laughs> Tell me, is it free having no honor? How about testing your metal with a lion instead of a lamb? Which one of your craven vultures will be next? <laughs> if I may suggest, why not all of you? certain this was a trial. My lady was testing the boundaries of my commitment. There was one last to turn her enemy's knowledge into a weapon against them. Something's wrong. Stop it. That's enough. Yes, master. What are you doing? I do not feel any different. I know I promised you a cure, but it's too dangerous to go any further. It's your essence. It's unyielding. 
like nothing I've ever seen. It must be his training. No, go on. I give my permission. I do not fear danger, yes? I'm sorry, my friend. I can't continue to treat you with a clear conscience. My decision is final. Please, I am begging you. I do not wish to die a broken man. Then I suggest you learn how to live as one, my friend. You deceiving coward. Mark my words. I will find what I seek. And when I do, there will be a reckoning. I pray to the goddess that you do. A chosen of Lady Death only falters if they lack training or faith. I lack no training. I lack no faith. I will be champion again. Mamdile, listen. I know you, you Yes? And... Others, like stray memories. I know it's a lot to take in, but in a way, it may be exactly what you were seeking. Death delivers me. Can it really be? <laughs> I need to test myself. Restored. You are a remarkable warrior, Monk. Yes, it is so. But you have not seen any. The Lord Commander demands an audience with you, Damon. Yes, he knows what you are. I am aware of your true nature, creature. However, I shall not address you while you don such simpleton faces. People like you are a disgrace to everything God is death stands for. Bravo. <laughs> now, if you please, I have matters to discuss with Agaros or Sir Theron. So, you're finally back, Sir Theron after failing to perform the duty I tasked you with. I'd be severely disappointed, sir, had you not returned in a most fascinating condition. 
This current state of yours shall be of good use. Trapped between life and death, carrying the essence of the fallen. Prisoner of a thousand faces. Truly fascinating. You wish to speak, my lord? Speak. Indeed. Let us proceed to the business at hand. I have it on good authority that the essence monsters are in possession of the most sacred artifact. The heart of Nito himself, to him all praise and glory. And I must have it. So this is what my lord has been sacrificing our entire campaign for? To acquire the heart of our prophet, the first to die. Indeed. Imagine, Sir Gilman, what the essence monsters are capable of with such a relic in their possession. We must assure that it stays safe. It is our sacred duty. Bring me the heart and you also stand to gain whatever lies within the reach of your imagination. What is it you would desire most? More land? Riches? To become Lord Commander yourself? You merely need to say it. your pawn. I will pretend I did not hear that and give you some time to ponder. Please, do bear in mind. The essence monsters are not the only ones who can help you undo your plight. I can grant you the death you so desire. Here is a token of good faith. That is all. Dismissed. Is that man dead, Sergeant? It seems I got a little carried away, my lord. Did you manage to keep him alive long enough to confess? You wound me, sire. Of course I did. And? You were bloody right, my lord. That wanker Solon already found the heart. Hmm. No surprises there. But can it be taken? Well, these ugly tossers may look like they have the pox. But they're some tough bastards, I'll give them that. Lost a few good men, and almost my own head discreetly snatching this sorry bloke from the streets. And then there's their pet freaks. I reckon we're gonna need a bloody army, sire. Then it is quite fortunate that if Lady Hines acts as expected, I am in the process of acquiring one. I will be heading back to the capital to prepare, and you will remain here, Agarus. I have other plans for you.
just how good it feels to give someone a proper thrashing. By all means, mate. We've no shortage of foes. Now that's bloody music to my ears, love.
If you're looking for a fight, mate, maybe stick to an opponent in your league. Like my five-year-old daughter, perhaps? <laughs> Yes, Ilion, and you can see why. What is a Centauri monk doing in Akratia? Well, you're on a worse state than I thought. Please let me help you, friend. What is your name? I am called Mamzeli. Mine is Raphaeli, and this is my son, Ilion. Come, let's take you to our place, back in the lower streets. You were fortunate to have stumbled upon the kindest heart in all of Akratia, monk. I agree, Spearwoman. It is strange how my most dishonored behavior led to my fondest memories. Welcome to life, mate. I don't see nothing strange about that.
must reach the room that was torn in half. That's where Solon's corpse shall be. That's Lady Hines. How's that even possible? Olivia of House Hines, former Chancellor and Spymaster to King Aurelicus of Kulisgon. And somehow, to my deepest distraught and mortification, I got myself killed. that I honor. You see, Mother made a deal. Confessed to what they wanted to hear so we both would be spared from her punishment. It's not fair! It's politics, young sister. <laughs> there, there. What you had in mind would serve no purpose other than to expose our abilities, my dear. Then we'd share Mother's fate. And what would that accomplish? Hmm? None may know of our secret if we wish to survive. Do you hear me, Alorna? Or Mother's death will have been for naught. Alorna was always so, so very young, even as an adult, especially as an adult leaving family and inheritance behind to join her umpteenth lost cause. Oh my, aren't you a handsome fella? How old are you, darling? Oh, I'm 15, my lady. <laughs> I ain't no lady, love, but I'm a fine-looking strumpet, aren't I? Yes, ma'am. So, what are you and your mates celebrating? 
I was about it's a bit gruesome, man, but I killed my first chap last evening. And the fellas thought it was past time I became a man. I'll tell you a secret, love. I always had a thing for them ruffian types. Mmm. Makes me wet downstairs. Do this gal a favor and tell me all about this bloody business of yours. Just some noble squabbling, man. I don't know much about it. It was a valet of some fancy lord that hired us. He had three headed goat lion on his coat. I suppose you mean a chimera. So the traitor is Lord Briar then. The Cruelest Golly Crown thanks you for your services. My family secret had always been an asset in my career. The dangers of being exposed notwithstanding, it allowed me to hastily rise through the ranks. That was the third raid just this month, Your Grace. The cult of life grows bolder with our inaction. But we mustn't hasten our response. Word has been spreading of a peasant revolt brewing in Smyrtolia. If we're not careful, we might end up fighting on two fronts. We can't leave these blatant attacks on our sovereignty unanswered. What shall we do? We arm the peasants. That is preposterous, my lady! You can't possibly- I want to hear what the Lady Chancellor has to say. My lords, for years the Crown has sought a pretext to launch an incursion into Smyrtolia. Were this revolt to reach a significant magnitude, Kulisgan would find itself obligated to intercede. Furthermore, the Church has long impeded the realm's attempts to expand its military and imposes heavy levies upon our lords. Under the guise of organizing the counter-revolution, Kulisgan could arm itself and plead a decrease in tides. That is a sound plan, Lady Hines. But you seem to ignore the issue of securing the coin to arm these peasants in the first place. Not at all, Lord Archduke. My little spiders brought me a rather disquieting tale of a lady of the realm, whose late husband bequeathed her a considerable fortune, who has been harboring Egisiromi heathens in her holdings. It is our duty, as death devotees, to report such heinous acts to the Holy Church. You do realize, my lady, that you would be perpetrating upon this woman the same fate that befell your departed mother, do you not? My king, it is only fitting to put one's first-hand experience to good use. Oh, the goddesses and their eternal cosmic struggle. What a timely so ever useful farce. The mortar that fastens our civilization against... My lady. Pray tell me, my lord, have you seen that creature of yours lately? Agaros of Mariva, I believe, is his Get name. Get to the point, my lady. My little spiders reported seeing Sergeant Argaros coming in and out of the Forbidden City of Akratia on several occasions. That is most disconcerting. Do you not concur? You have not the slightest idea of what you are dealing with, my lady. Perchance you mean this? This is the Essence Mancer's doing, is it not? Are you in league with them? I was investigating them. You know as well as I that were the knowledge of what the Essence Mancers were doing to spread, chaos would ensue. I was about to report my findings to the king. Oh, what a coincidence. I was about to address the king as well. Shall we go together? You fancy yourself so smart, Lady Hunt. But you are not the only one uncovering secrets. And you 
miscalculated. Be extra careful. This woman is secretly a wielder of magic. That was my second deadliest blunder, underestimating the Archduke. Next thing I knew, I found myself in a church's dungeon. My condition as a mage laid bare to the world. I apologize, Your Grace. I really do. But no one is to talk to the prisoner. I am the king. Stand aside. This is a holy keep of the goddess, your grace. We must obey the church. Sirs, please. I am to face execution on the morrow. Might I not be granted a final audience with my beloved sovereign? We can give you five minutes, your grace. Milady, I'm sorry. I did all that I could. I even pleaded. A relic is shut up and listen. Do exactly as I instruct. Go directly to the High Priestess, invoke the Accords of 296 AFD, and proclaim me as your personal representative within the Church. The law is ancient, but it still stands. I'll swear fealty to the Central Committee of Faith and join a monastic order of mages. I'll publicly humiliate myself. Beg for clemency. You'll do the same if need be. Nay, nay, you'll drag yourself to that old hag's feet. Do you understand? Go, Aurelicus. Time is of the essence. And my king. It was Ascaron. He's a traitor. Stay clear of him. I had to act swiftly. Ascaron in league with the Essence Mancers meant he had grandiose ambitions, which he machinated. So I threw a modicum of chaos along his path. My lady, I must admit, I'm impressed. To bring about an entire crusade, now you have outdone yourself. It was all the Essence Mancers doing. I merely presented the evidence of their perfidious deeds to the Deathly High Priestess. As a member of the Central Committee, she was obliged to hear me. Almost had a stroke, that poor thing. Now there's the issue of the traitor, Ascaron Pavel. Yes, I am afraid I am the bearer of dire news. The Archduke is a powerful man with powerful allies. He managed to be appointed Lord Commander of the Crusade. Something is amiss. Ascaron is taking too long a stride, taking too many risks. And now he endeavors to control the Crusade, certainly to protect his allies in Akratia. I'm afraid his ploy is much worse than a mere coup d'etat. The Essence Mancers must have something he desperately wants. But we cannot act without more information. Well then, I believe it is high time I pay a visit to my so little sister. I was Olivia until I met my demise. Was it Ascaron? The Essence Mancers? Perchance an opportunity unveils itself before me. I lived to loathe chaos. Perhaps in death, I will do the same. Hmm, a very intriguing. My lady? Highly unorthodox, certainly. Yet I am quite positive I can make the most of this situation. Yes, carry on, sir. I will have instructions for you and the others whenever I see fit.
of Nito. This is truly astounding. Oh my, it explains so much. Parbel mobilized this entire crusade to obtain the heart. It doesn't matter, sister. Not anymore. Can't you see it? We're on the verge of changing the world. Are you certain, Alorna? For what I can speculate, an object of such immense power would be extremely volatile. Solon believes it's worth the risk. Madmen. A madman on each side. We are between the hammer and anvil. Young sister, listen to me. Heart or no heart, you must realize you and your companions are out of time. The Church of Death comes. And although I did everything in my power to hinder them, it was not nearly enough. However, I may yet save you, dear. I have a safe passageway through Akratia's underground, where my agents enter and leave the city. But we need to leave without delay, and I beg you, bring the heart. It must not fall into Ascaron's hands. I can't, Olivia. It's too late to turn back now. I must have faith in Solon. Oh, I know all too well that stubborn look. I will not press you again, but please allow me to at least show you the underground passage as a last resort.
freezing in here. Mariva. Don't you fucking call me that, you ugly cunt. My, my, did I hit a nerve. I would have thought you enjoyed the moniker. The butcher's nothing but a crude drudge. I'm a bloody artist, bitch. You know, I've always hated our birthplace. And you are a perfect example as to why. I find it highly satisfying that you'll become as ugly and monstrous on the outside as you are on the inside. <laughs> oh, no. That left me balls tingling. Be a lamb and give us a scratch, will ya? Impressive. Let us see how your body handles a higher magnitude. <laughs> Again? Are you sure?
good luck. Fight it now. So, Aethalos was right after all. The ritual was ready. You were not. I'll do it myself this time. I am prepared. I sure could use your help, old friend. These stray essences have taken hold of you, but I know you're still somewhere inside. Meet me at life's cathedral, and let us end the Age of Mortals where it once began. Remember our dream. Remember who you are. Please, Solon, I need you. So, who can enlighten me about the effects of essence corruption on the human body? Anyone besides Howdai? That's when the body begins to This is... <laughs> the heart of Nato himself! The first to die, consider the knowledge... He plans to reveal our agreement with the Archduke to the rest of the cult. You understand that it must be done, right? When was it? What? That we crossed the line. When? Solon, I, I won't do it unless I hear your command. We've come too far to stop now. run out, my friend. The church will be here soon. We're missing something. Goddess life bestowed upon us the heart. It can't have been in vain. It gives us everything and nothing all at once. It grants us immense power, but our feeble bodies and minds cannot handle it. There's one type of essence we haven't tried yet. Ours. Yes. That's it. We must combine the body of our best volunteer with the essence of one of our strongest. Who would do such a thing? It's suicide if it doesn't work. I wouldn't ask that of anyone. It shall be me. If there's one thing I learned from... It's that there's no molding the inner resolve of an essence. My guess, dear friend, you're just like me. Already tainted.
was I so long all along? Then who are these beings I share my body with? Are they really here? Are they just memories? Goddess Nino, you were meant to be at the stadium ages ago! You've got a full house tonight. Half the people came to just see you play! Shit. Guess they'll be real disappointed then. What the fuck, Nito? You signed a contract! Yeah, you're making me be that fucking guy, the guy who mentions the fucking contract! Thank you very much. They can fine or suspend me all they want. A fucking exhibition match? Come on. I'd love to see that little turd squad win a free coupon without me. What a fucking joke. Come on, buddy. Work with me here, will ya? What about your fans, huh? Get the fuck out. Is Mandli really dead? Was he even here in the first place? This sorrow, this guilt, how I feel. Is it his or mine? Everything has lost its flavor, has it not, Nito? All your little pleasures gone one by one. Not even violence or cruelty can make you remember what it is to feel something. Who the fuck are you? And what's with your face? But that's not completely true, is it? You do feel one thing, do you not? And oh, my son, you feel so much. Such pain in your heart, and you can't ever escape it. Seriously, lady, how the fuck did you get in here? No matter how many times you try, it's always there, haunting you. How can any being endure an eternity of suffering? You poor, poor thing. How? How did you know that? When you speak, it... 
It all feels so clear. So peaceful. Oh, Nito. It's simply because I know you so well, my son. I understand. That's why I have come bearing the answer you so desperately seek. Or have you not asked yourself time and time again? Y yes I have. You have but to say it, my son. Please, what can I do to finally stop the pain? The only way is death. Could it be that Olivia has become an integral part of my being? Or has her individuality transcended into something greater? Many selves into one self. And pray, how might one define oneself to begin with? I think, therefore, am I not?
Theron asks himself if it was all worth it. He closes his eyes in prayer and only sees his father. Anna hates herself for believing she could be part of something else again. And so, the Covenant is agreed upon. Here, at the place underneath where things are left to be forgotten. The answer is given, and the price is set. Nito, my son, you have been bestowed a great honor. Do you accept what must come to be? Yes, my lady. I do. Good. Then it is settled. Go now, my children. Take heart, and understand that soon, mankind will be saved by your willingness to act. It all begins here and now, with you, my dear ones. So rejoice, for your pain shall finally know relief. Blessed be our Savior! My children, do you accept death with all our essences? Was it worth the cost, Solon? All my necessary sacrifices? That pathetic excuse that we've come too far to stop. Now, don't turn my eyes away, monster! Face your victims! Lost yourself along the way, didn't you? Yes. One day you woke up and saw the sun falling to the ground, rolling away, and the night was moonless, starless, so dark the ghosts of past regrets could not find you. Isn't it true? How does it end? It ends when you stop running away from destiny. Until then, you never truly die, but neither will you truly live. You exist in the liminal space between the eternal torment of being and the absolute despair of non-existence. What am I running away from? Yourself. Your memories, which reside within the vessel. It relentlessly pursues you. It tries to kill you at every turn. For it holds the part of you that remembers who you are. To kill it is to die myself. It is to allow yourself to change by releasing the part of you. Allowing Solon to depart. I am not Solon. Now you are something more. Gathered remnants brought together to recreate your identity. A mimicry of past self, which resulted in a new self, untainted by the burden of memories. To move forward, you must let go of the old self. How is that possible? One does not kill something halfway. What is half dead is alive. What is half alive also lives. One can live a half-life, but one cannot die a half-death. Death must be total. We must die together. You now possess divine essence, bestowed upon me by goddess death. You have the ability to bring an end to that which is eternal. 
As it once took place at the pinnacle of life's cathedral, what is immortal shall be rendered mortal. There, both halves must be united for one whole to perish. Solon's fate will be sealed, and what binds you to your suffering shall fade until it is no more. Open your eyes. Get yourself up. The world is a swamp, but you must swim towards the surface and remember to breathe.
Faluna has kept her word, the ritual should be about to begin. It all comes full circle. Oh, goddess. I still feel like aiding Aluna, but after all they've done, they're as bad as Pogon. At least with that bastard, there's a chance of a cure for us. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past the traitorous cut to double-cross us. I reckon we should offer him the heart. And when the bastard lets his guard down, we stick him like a pig and make him squeal. Channel your rage, Sergeant, and do not let it cloud your judgment. Our sacred duty is to eliminate both threats. It's why we were brought together. We are an instrument of her divine wrath. I'm Doran. What the mages do is sacrilege, but... Were we to deliver the Archduke that sort of power, I, I fear it would mean the end to all I've come to hold dear. We're in a position to alter the course of history. Pabel may well be an ambitious fool, but think of the turmoil those mages threaten to bring about. Frankly, it's no choice at all. We must deliver him the heart and hope he can bring an end to the Essence Mancer's threat. I stand with the old woman. A bet on a lesser evil is better than sitting idle, yes? Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. When we couldn't scry your whereabouts, we thought you had managed to get yourself yeah, destroyed. Yeah. We. Can you even have a single thought in that ugly noggin of yours without Povel's arm up your ass? You fucking puppet. Ah, sergeants. Always delightful. So, where's the arch cunt? Did he piss his breeches when he saw we were coming? I'm afraid the Lord Commander had to enter the field of battle. He must even now be dealing with what was left of the cultists' forces at the Cathedral. It's the vermin's final stand, one way or the other. It ends tonight. I see. And did he leave you behind to take his messages? <sighs> How- Lord Guillaume, if you're there, I would much prefer talking to someone with manners. I am here, Baron. Much better. And did you perchance find the heart? Yes, we have it in our possession. Marvelous. Then you mustn't waste any time. Go to the Life's Cathedral and deliver it to the Lord Commander. It all hangs in the balance. Actually, we came here for your master's head. But I'll gladly take yours as well. Insolent bastard! I know I can't kill you, but I'll hold you here for as long as I can, in the most painful way possible.
Looks like we're arriving late to the party. To speak of beauty in hidden places, how can those spring flowers bloom so magnificently at this time of year? The plants here bloom as if it was the height of spring all year round. They say it is a blessing of life herself. <laughs> Indeed. Curious, is it not? That the ancient ones would keep a place of worship to Mother's rival, right here in her cathedral. Do you have siblings, Matriarch? I'm afraid not. Me and my brother Lev used to torment each other. All the time. <laughs> Sometimes we hated each other, but we always loved each other. Death and life were sisters, not rivals. You and your brother still torment one another? He died. <laughs> uh, my entire family was killed by the cruelest Golni oppressors. I swore I'd have my revenge on those responsible. And <clears throat> I finally did. You don't sound too happy about it. I chose to abandon my new family to pursue my vengeance. <laughs> I wasn't there when they needed me most. This time, I was the executioner. Comrade Ahadib. Renato. I am so sorry. I got them killed. For what? Now, my inside is uh, hollow, and my lady will never forgive me. You know you're not the only death worshipper here in Akratia, right? But, in all these years, you're the first one to come here and light candles in her honor. Child, it's not her that has to forgive you, but you who has yet to forgive yourself. You're... Uh, you're right. I cannot erase my sins, but uh, there is still something I can do to mend my essence. And after that, uh, maybe one day I can give it a try.
Love. This one should be called betrayal, yes? Though I share your vision, I know well the depths of where one's capable of going for her kin. <laughs> I can't help you when you're a bit sympathetic. What are we doing here, huh? In the end, has any part of me shaped our decision? Or are we just passengers along for the ride? Hmm, and why can't it be both? Even a small thought, word or action, may help shape an idea after all. I have always prided myself as a creature of intellect. Even hampered by this condition, if a piece of my mind may still serve my ideals, I will not hesitate. Enough with this shite. I hate being stuck with you sorry lot, but as long as we keep splitting skulls, I ain't complaining much. <laughs> You're a disgrace to our faith, and you know that. Nay, I'd say I was perhaps her most devout follower, love. Spreading her grace like no other bloke in the church. Perhaps there's no right answer. I'm tired of my faith battling my heart. <laughs> Maybe the struggle is what matters. The endless cycle of life and death. So we may have no control whatsoever, and it's just war. Following an otherworldly conscience's every whim.
I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? Ito, you were chosen by none other than the lady herself. For very aces, resides within you for death's sake. All she had left. The fate of the entire world rests on your shoulders. This is a mistake. You don't understand. You can't. You don't know what it feels like. Seize him! No. Wait. I'm not ready. I want to live. I'm... I'm Nino Hidetaka! Well, what do you know? The Prophet refused. Refused the gift of death. And just like that, humanity became mortal overnight. He rejected it. Let us not waver in our faith. It only strengthens mine. How so? In the end, finitude brings purpose. Speaking of finitude...
Lorna, knowing that all your occult secrets lie in our far more capable hands. What? You're going to bring immortality back to us? Hmm? Surely not to everyone. That's a child's pursuit. Please. Eternity isn't meant for men. It's a divine right. Or a burden to be carried by those who pledge to serve the true eternal. Oh, that's grand. I never thought you'd be the type to deceive yourself. <laughs> and what about you, Aluna? As a devotee of life, you don't seem afraid to meet your end. It doesn't have to be here. The essence monsters had to be wiped, but you can still join me. Under my leadership, immortality can be within your reach. <gasps> Who would have thought that some fates could be worse than death? <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I knew I could count on you. Well, can it still be done? With your assistance, there's a chance. I'll never forgive myself for letting him go this easily. It may have lacked finesse, but it's satisfactory for me. She can stabilize it with more power.
that's no longer a Lorna.
The church's reign of terror will persist. Now, stronger than ever. One day it shall end. That is the fate of all things. <laughs>